Elizabeth Arcalian here with the Turlock Journal welcoming you to this year's Best of Turlock Awards. I, I knew there was a problem when my kids came to this tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, you know, there might be something else you want to do, but they had some kind of excuses. And for my lovely, beautiful, great wife, Tina, I'm going to paraphr paraphrase Ricky Ricardo. Tina, you got some splaining to do here. <laughs> I can get into this. But no, thank you very much to the chamber, everything that you do, Sharon. We really appreciate everything you do for us. And go Turlock. Thank you very much for this. And um, I'm going to uh, finish now because all leaders uh, should be short on words. And uh, <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do. So thank you very much, the chamber, um, everybody here, and uh, may God bless our country and this group of people. The people have spoken. <laughs> Turlock has responded, and we're excited. And, and growing up in this town, I never would have thought. I never would have thought that. But I underestimated. I underestimated everybody in this town, and forgive me for that. And I think I've seen most of you there. And if you haven't gone there, shame on you. Obviously, I'm not Colin Kaepernick. But I did want to come up to the podium and just see how he feels when he has to speak to the press. So thanks for giving me a little laugh and uh, uh, I'll, I'll get a little serious on you now. I read a little piece on Enoch Christopherson and it said he was like a bulldog. And of course to me that made sense because Turlock High and Turlock's got a rich tradition of bulldogs and it said once he made his mind up there was no stopping him. And so I started thinking about that and I kind of just reminisced I went, well that's calm. Michelangelo says, the greatest danger for most of us is not that our aim is too high and we miss it, but that it is too low and we reach it. That, that just kind of tells you who Colin is. He didn't want to play baseball, he wanted to play football. So, so on behalf of Colin, uh, we'd like to thank the Chamber and all the award winners and Go Niners. You heard about Colin Kaepernick and that goofy letter, that was my class a long time ago and uh, it's neat to see he and so many other students of mine do so well in their in their lives and I'm telling my kids right now to aim high and go for it and so this is really a cool tribute to all my hard work but I thank all my peers and all my administrators and everybody else who helps to make it possible. The first thing I said when I got up there was I think you have the wrong person just because um, I never would have expected this. So you had no idea coming here tonight? Oh, oh absolutely not. Well, I was originally supposed to come here because my mom told me that she was nominated for <laughs> Educator of the Year. This is a 46th annual event. How did it go this evening? Oh, I think it was wonderful. We had some of the best, best recipients and uh, we were so excited. And this is always a great event because there are so many people in this community who give so much and it's kind of silent. A lot of times people have not an idea who's done what. So it's the one time a year that we can say thank you. 